Hello and welcome to your weekend tarot reading where we look at the energy or potential that's around you for the next few days because these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released. This will be from Saturday the 2nd of October to Sunday the 3rd of October 2021 but again it can resonate a few days longer than that and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always. It is pouring down outside so we may have some special effects to go with these readings. <laughs> Okay, let's get straight into it. Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So what do we have for Scorpio? I'm going to pull an overarching card, then we'll pull some tarot cards, and then an oracle card at the end. So what do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please? Okay, number 26. True love come to me. True love shall come to me, as I do will, so mote it be. So, willing in something that you love. Let's see what that's about. Or someone. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides message for Scorpio. This is the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. We have the Eight of Cups. The Magician Manifestation. I mean, that's perfect for this card. And we have the Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So Scorpio, someone's moving on and they're manifesting something new and I feel that there is a connection coming your way. I mean, maybe more than one, to be honest. I feel you're ready for new love. I mean, equally, this could be in other areas of life. You know, sometimes people love their jobs. You know, sometimes people love their vocation, whatever that is. So, you know, I, I, there's definitely an energy of... The Eight of Cups can be an energy of someone walking away. It's not just physically walking away, it's energetically moving on. And I see that here. Now, whether this it was the last few days, weeks, months, years, call it what you will, it'll be different for everybody. However, there is certainly an energy here of, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to overcome whatever challenge has been in my way, to be open to new love and go for something new now. Now, this is also a card of winning, um, victory, triumph, and it's generally overcoming challenge. Sometimes it can be our own internal barriers that we have to overcome. So, for example, somebody, there could have been a period of time where someone may have left a situation and it's been a period of time till you could fully move on. For others of you, it can be walking from one place, could be a place of work, for example, to something else because there is victory here, victory over anything that has stood in your way uh, to claim some kind of victory and win and success here. The magician is an energy and it's a really powerful energy. Uh, the magician is a symbolize, uh, is somebody who symbolizes the power of one's self-belief to change their reality of whatever they're focusing on to what they want. I believe I can, so I will. I have all the resources, all the capability, everything going for me, and I'm ready to manifest this. So somebody is absolutely ready to manifest some kind of new path. It is a new path because they're fully ready to move on. Now, this could also be in terms of other areas, jobs. I mean, you know, like I said, it's not just about, you know, what we love is different for everybody. But for some of you, this will be for love. Um, Eight of Wands is connections, taking action, putting yourself out there. And there is news and incoming connections coming your way. Incoming news, incoming conversations, 
incoming connections. Now for me, this can sometimes be internet dating or, you know, networking. Uh, you know, it can be that it's this kind of energy. This card does represent sudden change. Obviously, this can be incoming opportunity connections in terms of other areas as well. And it holds real potential with the one's energy. It's exciting. It moves fast. It holds potential. Sometimes represents travel and holidays as well. So there could be some link to that too for you as well in terms of what you're manifesting here. But I love this energy, something that you really want, something that you really would love. It, you're finally ready to move on from something, put it behind you and go for this new path. And I love this energy for that reason. Final message, please. Final message for Scorpio. Yeah, we have Koi Carp Abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. The abundant energy is very much linked to the law of attraction. If we believe we don't have lack, if we own the energy of, of not having lack, um, but being fulfilled and putting that out to the universe, and that's what the universe gives us back. Um, this is an energy of... Someone's not lacking what they felt with the Eight of Cups anymore, you know? Someone's ready to manifest new dreams here. And I feel they're taking steps to do this, either in love areas, and it could be to do with something that you love. Um, either way, something's coming in very fast. It could be more than one opportunity, conversation, connection, call it what you will. It could be linked with abundance as well. That can have a material flavour to it as well. Material success. Scorpio, it's a lovely reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.